What's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. So I am absolutely stoked to bring you this knife. This, my friends, is the Henin Rooster uh, HR-007. And it is freaking awesome. Normally, when you think Henin Rooster, you're thinking some kind of stag-handled buoy with, you know, crazy fur inlay, big, thick leather handle. Not this one. Oh my gosh, not this one. So you have this black composite, very finely molded, very finely molded uh, sheath. Um, it is ambidextrous, and you can see that the molding is on both sides. It's ambidextrous and multi-positional, so you can adjust these things to sit sideways, upside down, backwards, crossways, off your earlobe, any way you want to do it. It is a friction hold, and it's a very good friction hold, um, and it's easy to deploy. One thumb and push. The sheath is great, yada, yada, yada. Wow, but this is greater. So this is unlike any other hen and rooster that I had bought or came out, and anybody who knows my channel knows I'm a huge hen and rooster fan. They just make really good stuff. Um but they're getting into more of this survival knife style. And this is one of the one of the newer styles that they'd come out with. I saw it. I said, I got to try it. The um, I believe it's G10 on the handles. I don't know why I'm saying I believe. I know it's G10. But um, the G10 on this is done so magnificently. It's all in steps. Every one of these just isn't a color change, but it's a depth change. Um, you can see that it's true full tang with a glass breaker and it's a pretty sharp glass breaker. So you can use that, not just glass, but you could break some hers. So, um, that right there is pretty serious. You do have a lanyard hole. Um, it is star bits quarter inch, uh, that hold it on there. Um, you know what this reminds me of? Do you remember the movie enemy mine? Ugh. That thing right there. That's what, for some reason, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of that Drax skin. Um, but it is choiled. It does have some seriously thick, thick jimping all the way across, which makes it for a very, very comfortable hold if you're going to be using it for skinning or or whittling or anything. It makes, I mean, the, the grip on this is just fantastic. Forward, reverse on the choil, reverse off the choil, um, any way you want to hold it, this thing is good. Um, you can do clamp down gripping like this, where you squeeze like some people eat a cereal spoon. And um, the, the ledge right here offers a great thumb rest. So when you're doing that tight work, that is awesome. Uh, you can see the H&R uh, 007. So now here's the thing. Usually they use um, German stainless steel. It's widely known and widely used throughout, but um, I do like all this extra tooling too right here. It just takes a little weight off the blade and it just adds some accents. This is very well stepped um, and it is um, swedged at the tip, making for great penetration. And uh, we love that word. So, man, I love this spine jimping. So th this, is, this is what they did. They used 1095 but they did 1095 stainless. And you think, but 1095 is not stainless, D-Bad. You are losing your mind. I know it's not stainless until you add chromium. And what they do is uh, they add chromium in a way to help it be rust preventative. Because if you know 1095 is high carbon, high carbon will rust. When you add um, chromium, you take away that. The coating on top of all of that is titanium coated, right? Um, so you have an alloy on top, which is just awesome. Um, it's 316 thick. Uh, let's see. You have 10 inches overall. The blade is four and a half inches long with a four inch cutting edge. Um, uh, try and see what else we got here. Uh, one and eighth wide. Um, bada, 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 strong and sharp without a doubt. So all of this and let's see, blah, 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 weight 
is 11.4, 14.2 with the sheath. So that's what it is. 1095 with added chromium takes your carbon blade, turns it into a stainless steel blade, and then you titanium coat it. Talk about um, rust free. Woo, doggy. This thing is just, it's so, so nice in the hand. I mean, you know, being, you know, when you have, obviously you have one dominant hand and then you put something in that other hand and you think it just doesn't feel the same. It's just not as comfortable. Whew, not this, man. This feels good no matter how I hold it, what direction I hold it, what hand I hold it in. Um, if I use the choil, if I don't use the choil, this is awesome. This is, and it's beautiful. The greens that are inside, I don't know if he, even this is going to pick it up. But it's like green, gray, black. See if we can get a good spot on that. Man, it is just a beautiful, beautiful grip. Hen and Rooster has absolutely killed it with this. This is the James Bond version. It's the 007, HR007. Let's, uh, let's use this thing, though. Let's use it. And I got some stuff inside because, you know, with the, with the old pot belly, I need to have some wood in the house. So let's see. Uh, my, my stuff to stand things up is outside so let's uh let's get this going right here all right so we need to make some kindling right why not why not let's let's actually let's do a before and after sharpness test and well that was pretty simple um shave sharpen that was actually just really easy I mean, that's a beautiful patch <laughs> that's a beautiful patch right there so let's um nice hard woods right hard hard woods oh yeah listen to that split oh right over the knot i got a nice big fat knot in there and it just took it apart with absolute Ease, boys and girls and ladies and gents. Man. Man. That is just nice. That is just nice. So, you know, I got to have some kindling to get a fire started. So I figure, why not? Let's get a nice thin slat type piece right here. Oh, gosh, that's pretty. That's just pretty. I mean, look at this. Woo-wee. You're going to light a fire. You need some of these. That's nice. I could literally plane boards with this thing. Okay, let's make a nice wedge piece. Golly. Golly, that's nice. So, is it going to, uh, is it going to do all that crap? Is it going to baton and the way you need it to? Absolutely no problem i'm probably blocking all the light here let's see oh man oh man oh man oh man so i mean i'm losing a bunch of my feathers here but you can see how nicely this guy is curling right um this is an everyday, all day, task completing, survival, home defense, self defense, awesome knife. So now we're talking about hard wood. That was some pretty hard wood. Let's see. <laughs> and it, don't want to lose them all. Don't want to lose them all. You can see that it is still crazy shave sharp crazy shave sharp i say we take this thing outside and see what else we can do with it come on now hold on all right so it's been a while since we did any pallet chopping so i figure why not come out here and chop a pallet up so man 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 so um for a four inch blade it chops uh chops much better than its length would uh, make you assume, lead you to believe. I mean, that right there, just a couple of chops. And you can see that it's making a pretty nice wedge there. 
how's that edge any dings dents folds rolls d lambs or anything like that absolutely not let's take this um let's take this glass breaker and give it a couple shots wow that is a huge gap right there look at this that is some dangerous stuff so we know it chops and we know it does all of that let's see here some one inch forest trees weather starting to turn so trees are all bald and just hanging here let's get rid of that let's get rid of some of those so now we have this guy right here and well that was easy so let's let's pick that up right here yeah watching me bend over for 10 minutes to pick up a stick that's good tv all right here we go here we go we uh we batoned with it we shaved with it we chopped with it oh ho, ho, ho. Oh, cucumber salad. Look at this. Look at how easy. How easy. How pretty. Man. Man, that is nice. All right, let's do a, uh, let's do a little wedge here. A little notching. Oh, my gosh. Looks like a flute reed. So now let's turn that... Turn that little wedge notch into a square notch, the old Lincoln log. Man, that is just some nice stuff. That is some nice stuff. Let's uh, let's check out our carving abilities. You gotta make pit spikes for animal trapping. You wanna do a, a stick to cook the hot dogs on. You gotta make a tent spike, you gotta make a spear tip, an arrow, anything like that. You know what I mean? It's sometimes it just takes a weapon to make a weapon. And I think I'm all blurry. Wow, that is, that's pretty sharp. That's pretty sharp. And it's stuck in. Oh yeah, that's talking about making a spear tip. So, um, so far so good. This thing is, um, this thing's awesome. It, if, if you needed to have, um, I didn't even spin it. I just wiggled my hand. Um, I lost train of thought what I wanted to do. But uh, if you need to to come out with a knife that you can carry every day, all day, and you can use it for every purpose, all purpose, this little guy right here, and I say little, but I mean, you're still looking at a four and a half inch hunk of steel coming off at the end of that handle. And it is just beautiful. I love the olive greens. You know what I mean? Being an army guy, you gotta, you gotta dig the colorations. Um, but man, I mean, so far there's nothing about this I don't like. I just want to keep doing stuff with it. I just want to keep doing stuff with it. Oh, here's something we can do. Here's something. Let me see how much water is going to fall out of here and get me all nasty. Here's something. Now, uh, instead of putting it on the floor, on the ground, I'm just going to hold it. Metal top paint can. Oh, oh my gosh. It's just flawless. Flawless stabber. A little dirty. But let's see. Let's see how much tip damage we got. Well, we got tip dirt. That's about it. No tip damage. Well, get my shirt all dirty. All dirty. So, um so far once you clean off all the muck everything's looking pretty nice i'm trying to clean it off with my dirty hand so oh you know what we should do oh man it's so nice i really really love this freaking knife it is awesome let's uh let's go over here this is this is going to be a new fan favorite man now when you buy these even though i have no damage no nothing remember every knife has a purpose and no knife's purpose is to jab through metal so if you buy a knife not just this one but any knife and you are a mental case moron like me and you decide oh you know what that would be really cool with this knife is if i jab it through paint cans um and you damage your tip or you damage your edge don't whine about it and don't blame the knife that's just 
dumb things that we do. And when I say we, I usually mean me. So, can't blame a knife if you ruin it by doing something it's not made to do. Luckily, I didn't ruin this one, so I'm just giving you all an example. I don't know if I'm going to be able to set that up. Oh, man, I got leaves and everything attached to me. All right, so let's see if we can throw this thing five yards. Oh, <laughs> that was a killer. That was a killer. Look at how deep that thing penetrated. First time ever throwing it. Woo, oh, look at that. And it cleaned all the dirt off the tip for me. Now the problem is the dirt I had from stabbing that paint can was all dug inside of there. Ooh, and that was beautiful. That wood just cleaned it up. So, <laughs> the dogs are over there wrestling, right? They're playing. And you see the big brown one, my big bloodhound. He's got his balls still attached. And the little one, when they wrestle, the little one will bite his back legs. But then he goes for the nuggets. And so when you hear that big, that means somebody just got his nuggets torn up. <laughs> oh, man. Man, this is not how I wrestle with my friends. But speaking of my friends, this, my friends, whoo, we, man, this is, this is something worth bragging about. This is something worth owning, something worth having, something worth using, definitely something worth carrying. And that is something I'm going to be doing with it. I'm going to be carrying it a lot. And normally this is the point where it's like, okay, see you later. This is the end of my video. But, you know, I did... Uh, did skip out on a couple things. I like to do a couple testing points. So let's uh, let's bring you guys over here. Put you down there. Let's grab us a nylon rope. Let's grab us. Oh, <laughs> I, I went to start and it just went right through. I was like, I was just trying to get my position. I don't even know if I could hold this one, but um, it just cut right through without even attempting. All right, so let's test the. Uh, Test the balance. I know the balance is good because my very first throw ever with it was an absolute freaking knockout. So uh, let's come over one of these stumps here. And we should be able to, I think that one's in. We'll do the old four foot drop. Test the balance. Oh, just dive straight down. Just straight down. Four feet in the air and it lands dead straight. Let's see here. Let me lower this a little bit. Do a couple of hard downward throws. See how everything, oh man, man. That one took that entire, it was buried all the way past that wedge. Man, I'm kidding you not, guys. Oh, that thing was buried. So, um, so yeah, th this wedge right here makes for instant. I mean instant penetration even if let's see if I hold it and penetrate look at look at this look at how far in this is going I mean it's just crazy that's your uh, window breaker right there I'm not holding it look magic Ooh. Ooh. Um, it's just awesome I mean awesome so uh, if you are looking for an amazing beautiful um comfortable usable sharp strong not too heavy of an everyday carry survival type knife that you know is going to be a little bit uh, better as far as rust prevention than some of your ontarios and se's and things like that and you want one that's a lot less in price find one of these the hr uh dash 007 by hen and rooster Man, they, I mean, they could have made a better knife, but apparently they didn't have to because this one takes the cake. So I'm going to start looking into some more of their um, their new survival stuff because after, uh, after playing with this one, I'm finding out that I really, really like the direction they're going and um, the things that they're doing with this. It's just awesome. I mean, as a defensive, as a defensive knife, you know what I mean? This thing is just, it's sweet. It's sweet. But um, it feels really, really good in the hand. It turns well. Uh, the grip is just fantastic. The, the G10 that they use here 
I mean, this stuff is bulletproof, but the just the contouring, all these dimples that, that are all three-dimensional, they pop out, they ride, um, they're fantastic. All this jimping up top, the finger grooves are so well done. I mean, there isn't a single thing about this knife that I am disliking, not a single thing. Um, it's awesome. This thing is awesome. So right here, y'all, this is where we're at. The HR-007 by Hen and Rooster. This is an own it type knife. Awesome, boop, freaking blade. I'm Donnie B all day, step, step, step. Until next knife.